What is up, Fight Fans? Thank you for tuning in to another show. I'm really looking forward to UFC Fight Night this Saturday. Um, this is the first fight of the main card. You got Tarek, the Spun Safadine versus number five, former champion, Rafael Dos Anjos. This guy's a monster. Um, if number 11 ranked uh, Safadine the Spuns lives up to his nickname in the ring, he's had plenty of knowledge to soak up over his career. Um, at 23, he was already winning in Strike Force and became the middleweight champion in Strike Force at just 26. Um, he's just 30 years old now. He's already fought many of the top names in division history. He's got wins over names like Nar- Nate Marquardt, Scott Smith, and Jake Ellenberger. He's tested his valor against current champion Tyron Woodley, Rick Story, and tough Rory McDonald. Certainly has seen a lot of what his opponent will throw at him on Saturday. But former lightweight champion RDA Rafael Dos Anjos is a different animal. He will come in a heavy favorite. Um, almost 3-1. to one. I would put him about 10-1. to one. Um, Not trying to disrespect Safadine, but RDA is... This guy's not getting beat unless he takes somebody lightly. He's not getting beat by anybody that's not the top three or four guys in the world at lightweight. Um, Guy's just crazy. Um, He just had a tough decision, lost to Tony Ferguson. Who hasn't lost to Tony Ferguson? Um, Tyron Woodley. Came real close to losing attorney for Tony Ferguson. Um, won fight of the night honors. Uh, many, including myself, thought he just got careless against Eddie Alvarez and got clipped. Otherwise, he'd still have the belt. And then, uh, of course, Connor swoops in. Um, you know, catches Aldi Alvar- Eddie Alvarez as somewhat of a weak champion. Um, I don't want to call Eddie Alvarez a weak champion. The guy's a legend, but um, he doesn't win it. A rematch against RDA, I, I'd put money on it. I don't put money on much. Uh, before losing the belt, Dos Anjos had taken five in a row. He'd beaten former champions Benson Henderson and Anthony Pettis, as well as Donald Cerrone and Nate Diaz. All in a row. Dude is a world-class fighter. Height and reach are almost identical in this one. I see RDA winning this one handily. Um... I'm going to call a second round stoppage. I think either he knocks him out or, you know, he pounds him into submission or sets up a submission in the second round. I don't see this from going to decision. And uh, I think this will be a good learning fight for Trig, but he's just not there yet. Uh, RDA by stoppage. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I'm going to be doing almost every fight on this entire card so please listen in to um, all my breakdown please like this video and subscribe if you like what i do i care about you guys a lot i appreciate your support have a great week